everyone, this is BT here with FXLifeDayTrading.com. It's 8.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing this video in Asian session to make some sense out of the markets and try to uh, just shed some light on some of this confusion out there. Uh, over the course of the last few days, um, I'm sure many of you are aware that we had that significant pop in the US dollar yesterday based on these FOMC minutes that many have interpreted as being uh, bullish USD. Now the reason they say that is because there's some hints there in the verbiage that uh, the um, rate raise may come um, in June or July. However, keep in mind, it's the same verbiage that I've been talking about that it says depending on data. Now, I don't know everyone in the media seems to be um, saying that the latest U.S. data is good. Now, I differ in opinion. To me, it's just another news momentum promotion of whoever whatever is getting in or out of their positions and it's just it just seems that way sometimes um, so let's get down to the oil this is crude oil US oil um, this is the four-hour chart now yesterday in the trading room I drew this and I was very clear to say I feel that oil will continue higher at least till 50 however I said be careful with this bearish divergence and I drew this in the trading room and I probably repeated myself like five times to get my point across because it wasn't just on this it was also on the gold so when you see this here you're probably gonna see a correction this is called bearish divergence now I personally wasn't taking this short because I wanted to just stick with the trend day trade this would have been an exceptional day trade this also dropped many of the other pairs uh, like the New Zealand US Aussie US and of course it popped the dollar CAD which I was stopped out on however before we had that pretty big drop in the Aussie dollar we hit our target for the um, AUD USD which was 92.95 so that was nice but at the same time um, I was stopped on a swing trade on the dollar versus the CAD pretty tricky because you're having oil very strong here but the correlation has been decoupled the correlation between the US dollar that we have seen now for the last year we see oil moving and then we'll see that dollar CAD moving with it it's been decoupled keep that in mind you know sometimes I don't want to think you always ask why 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 hey there can be a lot of reasons why for all we know the Bank of Canada could be intervening every day in the markets we don't know think about this the Bank of Japan was uh, discussing the fact that they were going to intervene at 110 they kept talking their nonsense kept talking their nonsense that went way down to 105 and then 105 comes along what do they do they start saying we're fine with it at 105 we're fine with it and what happens it comes up so that was the exact opposite of what you would have expected my personal opinion again this is theory I don't know exactly what they're doing it just seems kinda tricky like as that was going down they were buying now that it's uh, coming up I believe that um, you know they are unloading those uh, you know dollar yen bonds if you will I'm not saying they're unloading here they could be unloading higher I don't know my point is don't believe the hype check out the charts um, establish your gut instinct and really look at the bottom line what has happened with oil we had uh, the largest oil company in the world okay um, one of the, the head honchos at that company is now 
one of the big wigs in charge of the he's the oil finance minister I mean what do you really think is gonna happen with the price of oil do you think they're gonna let it go down I mean some say they're gonna let it drop um, to new lows he's fine if it comes down to fifteen dollars per share look I don't think these people and the shareholders of that large company want to go ahead and see the price of oil come down to ten fifteen dollars a share or even back down to the lows why would they want that oil has already um, did enough damage to the Saudi Arabian economy I mean I, I think their economy relies something like 60 percent on oil I'll stop there um, the bottom line is what what I've basically discussed today is to shed some light on oil because we know once we get an idea of oil chances are the commodities are going to be affected higher oil prices typically higher commodities why because you need oil to operate factories machinery and a lot of the machinery on farming whatever it may be mining is affected so typically high oil prices you're gonna see the higher commodity prices across the board I am silently buying in my account silently <laughs> Australian versus the US dollar still buying it it's a position that hasn't looked that great this week we'll see how it comes next week I still think we're gonna get that 7440 but you know what if if we don't start to see a move above 73 by Monday I'm probably just gonna unload that position all right patience is very important I personally think some of these larger banks have been accumulating on this last move down um, it's just kinda like their verbiage how it's changed comes from experience we'll see if I'm right I don't know but again getting back to the soil I'm still thinking we're gonna see that 50 we may even blow stops above 50 I mean that would be healthy how many stops do you think are placed above fifty dollars we'll see so once again be very careful out there very volatile here was the move down in oil we had that move right back up today with more momentum than we saw it coming down yesterday so don't get too overzealous that we're gonna start to see oil come down be very careful with this trading environment I'll catch everybody tomorrow in the uh, trading room um, at 8.30 a.m. Take care.